Hi, I'm Miranda. Welcome to the Gospel of Explosions Word Ministry of Sardis, Georgia. Our location is 811 Sap Street. Our pastor is the Honorable Bishop Willie Jones Jr. Our service time as it follows Tuesday Bible study at 7.30, Sunday 10 a.m. prayer, 10.15 Sunday school, 11 a.m. morning worship. You are cordially invited to worship with us during our services. Thank you from yours truly, Miranda Pierce of the Gospel of Explosion Word Ministry.
blessings in that powerful name of Jesus. I bring you greetings in that wonderful and matchless name of Jesus. Nothing can match the name of Jesus. Nothing can match the great and powerful word of God. Today we are teaching from the book of Romans, the 8th chapter and the 28th verse. And today our topic will be, life isn't a stroll in the park. So many times, glory to God, as we live, amen, glory to God, we have to learn that life isn't a stroll in the park. Every day ain't going to be Sunday. Every day ain't going to be Blue Monday. But through the love of Christ and through God's grace and favor, we can sail through life, amen, and make it all right. Because of Adam and Eve forbidden fruit adventure in the garden, glory to God, it made life upset. Glory to God, from the beginning of time, God meant for life to be a stroll in the park. But because they ate of the forbidden fruit, it upset life. Glory to God. And Job began to say, a man or a woman that is born of a woman is full of trouble and that of a few days. Meaning, glory to God, because the forbidden fruit, amen, error in Adam and Eve, life is not a stroll like God had planned it to be. How many know, glory to God, the Bible said in Jeremiah 29 and 11, he says that I have great plans towards you. I, I know what I'm thinking concerning your destiny, but you got to understand, glory to God, that God has plans, but if we don't get to know him, if we don't get to love on him, if we don't get to receive him, as our personal savior, and we begin to listen to the enemy, then it's not God's fault that the plans go haywire. It's our fault. Glory to God. Let's take it back. Glory to God. To in the beginning of time when Adam and Eve, God had a plan. And that plan, glory to God, for man not to labor, for a woman not to have pain, his plan was a good and expected end. But then they began to walk and listen with the enemy. When God's word said one thing, glory to God, they listened to the enemy and the enemy said another one. And who did they choose to believe? They choose to believe the report of the enemy. Isaiah said, who report will you believe? Will you believe God or will you believe the devil? Well, glory to God, they begin to believe in what the devil had to say. And even though God had a good plan for him, even though God had an expected, glory to God, eternal rest, amen, glory to God, here on earth for them, they end up messing up the plan. Look to your neighbor and say, don't mess up the plan. Get in the army of God and stay there. Get in the arms of God and stay there. The Bible said the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And when you run in there, glory to God, there is safety. He's letting us know there's no other safety that we can find but being wrapped up in the word of God. We can't find it in our families. We can't find it in our friends, our children, our husband, in our wife. All these things will disappoint us. But when we find safety in the arms of God, he won't stir you wrong. One thing about God, glory to God, he's the only being that I know will never hurt you. He's the only being that I know will never get tired of you, never leave you, never forsake you. He said, lo, I'm with you, even to the end of the world. You leave God, God don't leave you. Oh, glory to God. Adam and Eve had God, but they left God to obey the enemy. So glory to God, this is why life isn't a stroll in the park. Life is full of heartaches, pain, death, despairs, people struggling. Glory to God. From the beginning of time, God did not want poverty. He did not want struggling. But he told Adam, because you disobeyed me, Adam, and you followed the voice of the enemy, he said, until the day you die, you're going to struggle and you're going to work 
with the sweat of your brow. It's going to be hard for you. The earth ain't going to bear like I had intend for it to bear. How many know when disobedience is in a place or in a situation or a circumstance? The earth do not bear. It become hard. The Bible said in Deuteronomy, it even become like brass. Heaven and earth do agree. Whatever God say in heaven, earth going to agree. Why? Because God created the earth. And when he give a word, it will not go out void. Everything obey God except man and woman. Oh, glory to God. And he told Adam, your way going to be hard. And we see this is why poverty and all of this kind of upset stuff is on the land and country. Why? Because of disobedience. Life is in a stroll. But from the beginning of time, there is no shortage in God. He meant for it to be a stroll. He meant for, amen, glory to God, for us to be the head and, and, and not the tail. But because of the forbidden fruit, glory to God. This plan, glory to God, is, is inactive to the ones that do not have the word of God, do not have God, do not know him as their Lord and personal Savior. Then it's not a stroll in the park. But even though life is upset, life is like an angry sea. Glory to God when it can't rest. Even though, glory to God, everything is rocking as long as Jesus is with you. Glory to God. He'll make everything all right. The Bible declared, amen, glory to God in the word of God, that one day, glory to God, Jesus was this type of teacher that he would take you out and have hands-on experience. Glory to God. And he took the disciples on the other side. They was in church. Glory to God. It's good to go to church. But then it's sometime it's time to go on the outside and experience some things. So he took them, oh, glory to God, on the out scourge and he put them in a ship glory to God and he went to sleep glory to God praise you the Lord and the Bible said there was a tempest a bad storm come up glory to God and the disciples was afraid but see Jesus knew a storm was coming where before glory to God he took them out there but he took them out there to allow them to experience what he was trying to teach them glory to God and the Bible said the boat was almost tore apart and the disciples ran and woke him up and said, Jesus, don't you care that we drown? Don't you care that we die? Yes, Jesus care that we die. He cares if we drown. Glory to God, he cares. But we got to learn how to trust him, have faith in him. When he's on board, nothing can harm you. There's safety. There's rest. And the Bible said Jesus got up. Glory to God, he got up and he went to the top of the deck and glory to God, he looked at the rowing ocean and the, and the billows and how it was just carrying on and acting all crazy and just, just, just rambling on. Sometimes the ocean get mad, everything get mad. Glory to God, everything on this earth get mad because of the forbidden fruit. Glory to God, that ocean Anybody ever seen an angry ocean? Glory to God, it begin to row and you can't do nothing with it. You can't do nothing with a rowing ocean. Only God can do that. But the Bible said Jesus stepped up on the top deck and he told the ocean, okay, now I'm in charge. I got the authority. Peace, my God. Peace, be still. You no longer roll. You don't have no jurisdiction here. You don't have no authority to tear up the ship. You don't have no authority to kill my disciples. How many know glory to God? You can't kill what God say shall live. Amen and declare his glory. And the Bible says that the ocean began to cease from rowing. And the disciples looked and said, what kind of man is this? Even the waves obey him. How many know glory to God when you got Jesus on board? Even though sometimes things get a little shaky, sometimes things get a little hard, sometimes you got to cry, sometimes glory to God, you got to uh, wonder what's happening. But no, if you got God on board, he'll calm the storm. He'll calm the sick situation. He'll calm the circumstance. But so many times, glory to God, hallelujah, we don't know who we got on board because why we serve the enemy more than we serve God. But when you begin to serve God and when you begin to serve him with all your heart, you begin to tell the Lord, take control. Glory to God. Have it, God, because see, I can't do it. I can't make it by myself. Glory to God and God. Amen. Glory to God. Begin to 
amen, do it for you. He began, glory to God, to make everything the way it should be, but you got to be wrapped up. You got to be tied up. You got to be tangled up in the Lord. You can't let anything carry you to the right, carry you to the left. You got to keep focused. You got to keep forward because guess what? Glory to God is working for your good. How many know glory to God when you are in the arms of God, you may can't understand it. You may can't process it. You may can't wrap your head around it, but it's working for your good. The Bible say it's working because why? You are called for his purpose. Glory to God. Anytime you're called for God's purpose, anything that happened is working for your good. Glory to God. Sometimes, glory to God, we can't wrap our head around it. We can't process it. It's process it, amen, but it's working. Glory to God. Not all people understand that. Why? Because they're not wrapped up in the word of God. They're not tied up in the word of God. They're not tangled up in the word of God. But I come to tell you today that all things work together for your good. When you love the Lord, glory to God, just keep on following him. Just keep on riding with him, glory to God, because he's the only captain that I know that never had a wreck. He's the only captain that I know that knows how to fly. See, he knows about life. There is no ending. There is no beginning to God. Glory to God. And see, we got to look at it this way. God been here, glory to God, for, for, for years we can't even count. Glory to God, he's just no ending and no beginning. So why would you trust in something that is limited? See, the things that we trust in is limited. It's only here for a little while and it's gone tomorrow. The Bible said life is like vapor. One minute you're here and the next minute you disappear. But we're talking about a spirit that there is no ending. There is no beginning. And all he's asking you to do is to trust me. Lean on me. I won't let you fall. But so many times, glory to God, we trust in things that are limited. Everything have a limit but God. And when you get God and say, God, I trust you. I may don't understand it. I may can't wrap my head around it. I may can't process it. But guess what, Lord? I trust you, Lord. Glory to God in your hardest circumstance. Trust him. It's working. It's working for your good. Oh, glory to God. Sometimes, well, what good do we see in our loved one dying? It's working though for your good. What good in it? And we seeing people struggling. Glory to God. Can't hardly meet ends day by day. Glory to God. Struggling for food, struggling for finance. Can't hardly live. What good is it? Trust me, God got a plan. Glory to God, he wouldn't bring you to it if he wasn't going to bring you through it. Glory to God, we suffer so much in this life. But God had already warned us that these times going to be because life is rocky because of the forbidden fruit. We can never blame God for at what Adam and Eve done. They upset the universe with their disobedience. And then they begin to bring disobedient children and just making it worse and worse and worse. He said, but even though this stuff is before you, don't get upset. Don't bow, don't bend. Trust me. Glory to God, I didn't tell you that you was going to stroll life like you stroll in the park. I didn't tell you that. I told you that a man or a woman that's born of a woman is full of trouble. And a few days, I didn't tell you it was going to be a stroll in the park. But you must listen to me. Glory to God. You must listen to the voice of God. Glory to God. He will drive the ship, even though it's rocky. Glory to God. Even though sometimes you experience death, you experience heartache, you experience pain, you, you experience, glory to God, giving up the right for the wrong, you experience all manner of things. But is all wrapped up into that forbidden fruit. But with God, he won't leave you. See, God already got the plan. The Bible said there are books, books with an S on it, books in heaven. Glory to God. The plan is already written. Our life story is in heaven. He know the outcome. He know the beginning. Glory to God. He know our way upon earth. So what we got to do, we got to trust him. God began to lead me. So many times we say, well, we done got old now. Just like Sarah said, glory to God. She said, we done got old now. And we have yet to see the promise. Glory to God. We have yet to see the promise. So many times, glory to God, we feel like because we are a certain age, God ain't going to do what he say. 
See, you look at age, but to God, age is a number. Glory to God, just a number. Because the Bible said in the book of Peter, he said one day to the Lord is as a thousand years. See, God don't count like us. He said, my thoughts are not like yours. My thoughts are higher than you could ever imagine. You, you don't think like me. So because you're turning 60 years old, don't think it's over. Because you're turning 50 years old, don't think it's over. 70 years old, don't think it's over. Glory to God, because God don't count like us. You really don't know how old you is. If God count one day as a thousand, we really don't know how old we is. All we can do is walk and talk with the Lord. Stay with him, glory to God. Let him be your God. Let him be your senses. Let him lead you. Glory to God. Let him talk to you. And he will. Oh, glory to God. In your weary hour, God will talk to you. He will deliver you. He will give you a word in your spirit to calm you. Glory to God. Because why? He told you. See, God is a God that will never tell us a lie. Neither would he ever be a God that he repent for anything that he have to say. He told us. This is why it's very important. That we go to church, that we go to Bible school, that we go to teaching. It's very important that we go and learn about God. Because God never, ever promised us that life was going to be a stroll in the park. He never promised us that. This is why he said, get close to me. Because, see, he knows things that you don't know. He never promised us these things. So the reason why we can hardly do it and we're saying, why this and that and why this and that? Because we don't know the Lord. But when we get begin to read God's word, begin to be taught God's word, begin to be mentored God's word, begin to go and learn of him, then when you see these things, you can say, well, the Bible said so. The Bible said mothers will be against daughters, fathers against sons, husband and wife against each other, mother-in-law. And daughter-in-laws against each other. Everybody, glory to God. Hallelujah, the Bible is fulfilling. But no, in all of this, you're more than a conqueror. No, to stick with God. Stick with God, glory to God. Even though it's upon you, even though you see these things, stick with him. He will lead you. He will guide you. He will take care of you. And for, 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 for 100% show, no. That all things work together for your good. And all things is not going to be a stroll in the park. But when you got God, it makes life much easier. He said, my uh, burden is light and my yoke is easy. Stick with God. Don't leave God. Stay in church. No matter what come up on the earth, stay in church. Don't leave God because God will never leave you. All things work together for your good. Love you. Have a blessed and a productive day from the Gospel Explosion Word Ministry in the city of Sardis, Georgia. Every Sunday at the hour of 11 o'clock a.m. Glory to God is morning worship, 10 o'clock prayer, 1015 Sunday school. So if you're not doing anything, 811 South Street. Glory to God, you are always invited, amen, down to the Gospel Explosion Word Ministry in the city of Sardis, Georgia, where the pastor and founders, none other than the Honorable Bishop Willie Jones, Jr. Have a blessed and a productive day. God bless you. From the Gospel Explosion, Word Ministry, and Sardis Young. God bless you. Same word.
continually be in my mouth. I will bless his name because of his saving grace. And that's why. Sometimes you've been my mother. 